Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to explain what we mean by the unit normal vector. Now, in the previous video, we talked about the unit tangent vector. So what's the difference and how are they related? Well, the unit tangent vector was a vector of length one unit in the same direction as the derivative of the position vector, which represented the velocity of a particle if the parametric variable was time and the position of the particle was defined by the position vector at time equals t. So what is the normal vector or the, normal, the unit normal vector? Well, it is a vector perpendicular to the tangent vector pointing back to the origin from the location of the particle at time equals t. In other words, if we take the tangent vector or the unit tangent vector and we rotate it through a 90 degree angle, we end up at the normal unit vector. Normal means perpendicular, tangent means tangent, and of course there's a 90 degree angle between them. So how does that make sense? Well, note that if we define an angle phi, reference to the positive x-axis, so here we have a line parallel to the positive x-axis, and the angle phi is the angle as we rotate counterclockwise from the positive x direction to the tangent vector, if we define that angle by the angle phi, then we can define the tangent unit vector, or the unit tangent vector, that's how we pronounce it, the unit tangent vector is a function of phi, as the cosine of phi in the i direction, plus the sine of phi in the j direction. And if we then rotate that through a 90 degree angle, which is pi over 2, if we then add pi over 2 to the angle, we then get the normal unit vector or the unit normal vector, as we say. So starting from the unit tangent vector, we add 90 degrees to the angle, which is the angle between the x direction and the direction of the unit tangent vector, and then we get the unit normal vector. Now, what is the meaning of all that? Well, at least we define two vectors, one being perpendicular to the other. They're both one unit long. One is tangent to the direction of motion of the particle, which means it's in the same direction as the velocity, one unit long, and then perpendicular to that, the normal vector, which would then would point towards the, what we call, centripetal acceleration of the particle. And so that's the meaning, literally, of the tangent normal vector, or the unit normal vector, I should say. Hmm, I'm getting my words mixed up. All right, so now that we have the definition and the relation between the two, let's go look at an example of how actually we use that, how we calculate it based upon what we just learned. So stay tuned and we'll show you in the next video what to do with that unit normal vector.